What's up YouTube, Jeff Bannock here. And today we want to talk about how to make a one of many or a NFT pass also known as a ERC 1155 token. This is a pass style NFT. It's one of many, which means it's one image, but you can sell, sell many replications of it. Usually these are used for like access passes or maybe in game if you wanted to uh, sell someone one um, type of NFT or in-game item, but wanted to have many of them be able to distribute or be sold to many people. So inside today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one, how to even sell one, and many examples on, to give you ideas on how you can make your own. See you inside today's video. All right, so this is the most common type of an ERC-1155 or a pass style token. This is just a JPEG. Um, it's well done. It looks nice. I really like the way that they did this. This is for big time GG. This is to get into early access for their game. Um, they did it real well. It's got a shimmer on it. it. looks very nice, but this is just a simple image. And if you scroll down here, scroll down to the bottom under details, you scroll down to, to uh, token standard, you'll see it's an ERC-1155, which is the pass or one of many. And you'll see right here, there are 2.2 thousand different passes available. And there's, um, it looks like 1,164 total owners. So still more of these can be bought if they wanted to be. So the next one we're going to look at is the Nifty Portal. Again, this is just a very simple uh, GIF. It's got music here, or it's a video. It might be an actual video. Probably it's not a GIF. It's probably a video. Uh, since it has music, you'll see there's raindrops hitting. You'll see there's animation here. There's stuff flying through the air. Very well done piece of artwork. Again, if you scroll down, you'll see here are some of the different properties. Edition 1, Pump, and we're going to make it, yes. And then you see it's 11.55. This is for Nifty Portal. You'll see there's uh, 4,700 total owners, and they made about 4,800 total copies to be made available. And then the final version I'm going to show you, this is a lot more high tech. You'll see this is done with high resolution graphics, 3D. Uh, this one's real nice, sells for like $6,000. This is Adidas into the metaverse. And again, uh, see it says phase one for properties, 1155. And this is just like I said, it's an access style token. You're gonna hold this and this is gonna be your pass into the metaverse or into the game or whatever it is, or it could be into my course that's coming up for my uh, NFT empire maker, where I'm gonna show you how to create, design, launch and sell your NFT in 90 days. So it could be an access pro into that program, who knows? So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into Third web, uh, we're going to go ahead and use that as our platform today to be able to create and launch our NFT. So as you see right here, I'm on the Rinkby test network. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click create new contract. We're going to choose Rinkby down here underneath the test networks. Click on that one. Now, if you just wanted to make a token itself and you didn't want to do the drop, if you just want to make one 1155, maybe you want to use it somewhere else, something like that, you go to create token or NFT, NFTs and tokens, but we're going to do a drop, uh, release a drop. We're going to do addition drop, which is your one of many or the 1155. We're going to first name this. Now, this is actually creating the drop contract. It's not the token itself. So we'll just use some stuff here real quick. We'll say this is the NFT Empire Maker. And then we'll uh, leave the description. This would just be for your internal use. No one's going to really see this right here for description. Primary sales is where um, your primary sales are going. Royalty are all the secondary sales. Um, right here is going to be your percentage. Usually that's between anywhere from five to 10%. So we're gonna set it for 7.5. Now you could choose this primary address to be one wallet and your royalties could be a different one. Uh, it's totally up to you, but make sure you set these ahead of time. Once you deploy this and put it on the actual blockchain, it is immutable and cannot be changed. So we're gonna hit this now. All right, we'll confirm the transaction. As you know, whenever you're putting anything in the blockchain, there's always gas fees. Okay, now that we've actually created the contract for itself, we need to actually create the NFT. Now, um, we're gonna go to create right here for a single NFT. So this is um, Empire Maker 
NFT. We'll put the little Diamonds Hands logo. Boom, there you go. Any description, any properties I'd want, I'd set that guy right here. So maybe like, for instance, this could be, um, um, it could be a uh, line and you could put uh, Genesis, something like that. Any advanced metadata, if you wanted to have a specific background color for open C, you could put that hex code here. And then any external URL would go right here. It'd be like, go out to your website. Once you've input everything and you've got every, all your properties set up and everything, you'd hit create edition drop. All right, you'll see right here, we've got our NFT empire maker. We've got our properties of Genesis line. We've got zero claim because we haven't set up our claim or permission period yet. So we go to setting and these are our claim phases right here. So if for some reason we ever wanted to, at the very bottom, if for some reason we ever wanted to reset the claim phase, like someone, like say we said it that you could only hit claim one per wallet, the, um, say a bunch of people claim theirs and we wanted to reset that and potentially let them claim again or start that claim phase again or whatever it is, you can reset the claim eligibility by clicking this bottom button. Now what we're going to do is set up our claim phases. So the first phase we're going to set up for right now, we're going to say, um, it's going on right now, and we're starting a whitelist. Of course, um, initially, you'd put it in the future, but we're making it for right now so we can actually claim an NFT. If you look at the top right here, how many NFTs would you like to drop in this phase? We're going to say 50 for my NFT Empire Maker. There's only going to be 100 of them, so we're going to do 50 during the whitelist. How much do you want to charge? We're going to charge point. Uh, 0.5 Ethereum. And again, you can change out between Ethereum, we have Wrapped ETH, USDC, or Tether, and we're going to go with Ethereum. Now, in this phase, if, say, I had an actual whitelist and I had a list of wallets that I wanted to um, use specific wallets, I'd click that right here, and then I'd add a CVS file, I drag and drop that right here, and then only those wallets would be able to buy during this phase. To make it easy, we're going to go for any wallet, and then at the bottom here, how many NFTs can we claim per transaction? That's per actual buy phase, so we're just going to say one. Sometimes to save on gas, you'll allow five at a time or whatever it is, depending on how many you allow per wallet. And then how many seconds do you want to wait in between claiming? So um, if you wanted to allow them to only claim one per wallet, you hit unlimited, and that's what we're going to do today. So the next phase we'd add on here, you have another phase, we can add that. We're going to add this in the future. There's a little icon here for um, the calendar. You click on that. We'll say that on the 13th is when we wanted to do the actual public sale. Um, how many we're going to do with that? We'll have 50 left over. How much do you want to charge? We charge 0 0.5. We're going to charge 0 0.1 for this. Again, Ethereum. Again, you can pick if you want specific wallets or not. Um, how many can we claim? We're going to go one, and then we'll click this unlimited button so it makes it that um, you can only do one per transaction. If you want to allow people to do multiple or maybe you have to come back and be able to buy more later, you can always set this for however many seconds you want it to. Next, you're going to click this button right here, update claim phase. Again, once you put this in here, um, you want to make sure all this information is, is accurate. All right, we've saved the claim phase. So now what we can do is we go into actual settings or embed code. I'm sorry, we go to embed code at the very top right here. And you can actually embed this. You can click copy to clipboard right here and it will actually show you um, uh, your actual drop. What I like, and then you can see down at the bottom here, here's what it's gonna look like. And then, so once it's ready, you can see here, I've got my one. I can't scroll up because we only allowed one on one. And then what I would do is I'd hit mint. And then once it's done minting, I'll actually, I'd pick my ETH here. How much is gonna cost? 0 0.05, hit confirm. Again, this is the preview. Uh, you have the actual embed up at the top that you can use to embed it into your site. And that's it, pretty much super easy to use. Hopefully you found this video informative. So please like the video, please subscribe to NFTs for Newbies and I'll see you in the next video. As you can see right here, it said successfully claimed. You'll see now it says one of 50 claimed. And if I went in my inventory, I would see I had the NFT Empire Maker NFT. Super easy to use. Hope you, this video found it useful. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. Again, this is a past style NFT. Super easy to use. And the good thing is you don't have to have a lot of different variations or anything like that. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.